Um, and today, obviously, we're going to look at the new signing. It was hinted just before it was. It was like, it was like oh, it was like um, the god. You know, the god. You know, the god was it old. Uh, you know, it was a hint. You know, they see the three hints. It was so old in Thiago from uh, Liverpool and home uh, Celtic Park, of course, home. Um, and that is how you pronounce his name and he's signed on a five year deal as you can see there um, and Celtic are delighted if we just move it over we go so you can see the statement Celtic are delighted to announce Odin Thiago Holm uh, signed on a five year deal with the club subject to a satisfaction of your condition and uh, for clearance he's 20 old Norwegian sitting around midfielder joins from the earth setting club Varenga and becomes Brendan Rodgers' first signing of the new campaign. The manager said we're delighted to bring Odin to the club and secure his signing so early in the window. He is a player who has been with, uh, in the club's scouting and recruiting system for some time. Um, he goes on to say, I looked at him close and believe he is someone who can make an impact at the club. Um, Rodgers is going to say, I've spent time already. He is an ambitious, exciting young player uh, and is... Um, he knows he is delighted to join us. He's a great addition to the squad we have, and really looking forward to playing him. Have you seen this? I don't know if you've seen this right. I don't know. It will probably get copyrighted, but hopefully not. Oh, look at this. This skill right here. Look at that. Uh, I like the edit, but she what a skill that is. But that is basically what um, the signing is. He's a uh, defensive midfielder. Um, but yeah, he's 20. He looks promising. Um, I think... You know, we've seen the first kind of batch under Rogers, like really good signs. So it's looking. I mean, listen, he look, it looks fantastic in the kits. I tell you that much. I'm just saying, he looks fantastic in the kits. Um, but um, the new away kit, which is really good. But um, I mean, he's he just he looks a real talent. I've seen it on YouTube a couple of times. I mean, so it does. But um, he does. Um, he looks a player. He's very talented. Obviously, he's been on a while for a. We've been like when Andrews at the club, start the club, but he's now officially signed for Celtic. Um, Brendan Rodgers first signing back at the, um, the club after obviously signing. What was it last week? now? no, sorry, Monday. I don't know. Last week. It's nearly, nearly. But, um, but um, number fifteen, he will play. Obviously, famously under Johnny um, Johnny Hayes, but. Um, but aye, um, that's pretty much I can say about he's, he's promising. So, I mean, defensive midfielder. Realistically, it's Kalmak's position. Rogers is he going to try and what he done? I don't. Did he date in the first season? Did he move Kalmak up? I think he did. Um, which is good for the squad, but because we don't have many depth there, we obviously had the Gucci and Awata. But realistically, we're going to probably push them kind of forward. That's good depth, man. But that's really good. We're promising now. It's five year deal, so you know he must be promising if also we're trying. We've had, one, we've had one, they did that for a while, and he's now signed for Celtic permanently, officially, on a five-year deal. But, um, aye, let's, um, let me just, I know it's a bit weird to see three people at one time, but, um, aye, uh, let's go into a bit more, if we just, if we go out of date, uh, a bit more detail about Brendan Rodgers. His first press conference will be tomorrow at four o'clock, so stay tuned to the channel for that. We'll have a reaction after that, we'll be on the channel to talk about that. But it feels real now. Ren Rogers, it came out today just about seven minutes ago actually before I start recording. Ren Rogers' first message as new Celtic manager is back. Um and he will um the first the first um interview can I snap of it is online right now and it feels real now. I tell you what, I Bren Rogers back right, that's brilliant, but I don't really you know, look at that train talk as well. That's absolutely that's a lovely train talk, I love it. Um I can't wait to see what this bud, but um you know, no great, no, no Ange voice, no beard, no, no, no jumper. Just clean, cut class I expected. Welcome back, Brendan. Can't wait to see him, but um, hear him from the press conference tomorrow. Um, but I, I'm looking forward to it. Well, let's quickly go back to um, home for a minute. Um, home for a minute. He has um, sealed his move, of course. He'll link up the squad. We've talked about his like, but. Um, He'll join obviously for the pre-season tour and could feature in the tour again or it kicks off on July 19th. Uh, we've talked about what Ren Rogers said. Um, just look now, see it now, see yeah, that's pretty much it. Really what I said, but yeah, it's promising. Look forward to seeing him in the tour, uh, which starts on July 19th. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Um, but I, Ren Rogers, back. That's it. I'm sold. Rogers is back. We've heard the first kind of interview. Um, I mean, 
kind of wait here, my friend. But that that was a that was a link, you know. That was a thing for me. Though. But I, Brendan Rodgers getting a wee skin fade for tomorrow. But listen, it'll be interesting tomorrow. What what reaction will we get from us? It's the fan media now, and it will continue into the new season. Obviously, we had that firstly come under under Ange Buster Cobb because the Ange wanted more of the fans involved. And I, I'm really thankful it's, in, it's continued because you need the fans' voice to ask the questions, you know, when when they need to be asked. And listen, I think tomorrow there'll be a bit of 50-50. Listen, there'll be people there guaranteed saying, why you left Brendan? I don't know if they'll be allowed to say that, listen, because it's going it's to be Sky Sports and everything. But I think that um, they will be asking the question. But aye, as I was saying, aye. Um, it will be interesting, as I say, tomorrow, how Celtic fans will react. Listen, I don't even know if they'll be allowed to say the questions that they want to say. Like, listen, I'd like to say, listen, I know it was a top Premier League club at this time, the Championship now, but why? You're close to doing another domestic treble. Listen, maybe the board weren't back enough to actually understand that because, like I said, didn't play a tiny bit more to get John again. Look, look at him now, playing phenomenally well for Aston Villa and Scotland. Um, listen, we could have had that. I'm not saying we could have kept him for years, but we could have had that in the squad, don't get me wrong, but when he was at Hibs, but... As well as, but um, there will be quite. There'll be. It'll be. I don't know what the reaction will be tomorrow. I, it'll be mixed. Do you know what I mean? Um, but um, I wish I was there to ask questions, but not yet. But hopefully in the future we get that because I'd like to see the fan media. I'd like to be a part of it. But hopefully soon we are. Um, for when we're going further up into the. Um, hopefully follow when we're going to follow into YouTube and stuff like that. But um, yes, tomorrow will be the first time we hear Brendan Rogers to the media. Um, He'll sit down and obviously talk about. <laughs> I wonder what the question is going to be. That's what I want to know. You know what I mean? That's a comment. That's a question. We talked about it on the podcast as well when me and Lewis said our opinion. But um, comment down below. What would your be? Um, what would your question be to Brendan Rodgers? You know what I mean? That'd be that'd be something. But um, I think that it'll be you know standard, well standard. What's he going to say? I don't think he apologise. Generally, I don't think, and I don't think there's there's half of me that says he doesn't need you because what's he going to apologise for? Do you know what I mean? At the time, it was a top Premier League club, but at the same time, me as a Celtic, to a Celtic fan, like, listen, practically halfway through a season, you leave the club the day before. Was it a week before the cup final? Or was it, oh, it was a couple of weeks before? We're in the final again, anyway. That's the worry, uh, that worry. But um, he is back, apparently, going to spend a big bit of money in the summer. Listen, I said to Lewis in the podcast, don't get your hopes up because I don't think we've signed 30 million. Listen, if one of the top players goes, they probably have to sign. That's our first sign in the window. I think it was two and a half million, I want to say, so not much out of the budget. Um, but um, we do have a good budget this year, and obviously the board have come out and said they will back Brendan Also, he'll probably hear that tomorrow as well from Peter Law, uh, from all the board, Peter Law, well, Dermot Desmond, Mike Nicholson, stuff like that. Because uh, I, I don't, don't want to say Peter Law, he's not really part of that kind of way anymore, so I don't think he'd be there, but I don't know. Um, but, um, I'll be interested about that relationship because we saw there was a mixed relationship when Rogers was the first day forward, obviously, because not backing him. But they've come out and spoken, and they'll probably come out tomorrow saying they're fully backed with the money. They've seen how a fully back manager does success at Celtic, whereas if you don't back a manager, like Neil Lennon, you see what happens, right? You don't back a manager, you don't build with the support, it's a disaster waiting to happen, which did, right? But um, Ange was, that's probably how it worked, and obviously Ange did a phenomenal job, but that mixed in with backing and the money and the rule, just trusting Ange and going to trust Brendan Rodgers to come back and Brendan Rodgers has to show that trust but that's what he has to do, he has to you know you can even get, I thought that, you can never take it two ways as I've said you showed when we talked about in the podcast about that thing that came out, it was obviously after Brendan Rodgers left, it was a game against Hearts it was um, never a Celtic fan or something, never a true Celtic fan, something like that, was that. I can't remember what it was but um, you know the one I'm talking about uh, but you can never take that two ways, you know, you can never say, listen, Brendan, you can't sit just doing on your, you know, sit doing just, you know, relaxed, listen, alright, you've got a good score, you can't sit doing relaxed, but, because, listen, I'm not, alright, I'm a Celtic fan, but you've got to look at, Rangers won't improve, so you've got to, you know, you've got to look at it and go, listen, you know, we can't afford to sit down, we've already got a first sign in the door, which is brilliant, um, but, um, I think we should probably keep progressing with that, maybe, That'll probably be maybe the only sign we see if there's no exits. If there's no big exits, I don't see it. But um, we've been linked with Mohamed El Yunus. We've been linked with the big guy. Is it? Is, I think he's a striker. I, I know he's a winger actually. Uh, if I can get him up, or he's a um, Korean, South Korean. Um, I can't mind his name though. But 
if I can get it up, I'll try and find it. In fact, I'll try and find it now. But he looks a guy. I've tried Celtic now. See, do 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 do. But um, Celtic apparently put in a bid for them. Uh, transfer news. Let's see. Do 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 do. There he is. Yeah. So um, oh, I think maybe not. I don't know if we are seeing that as breaking. But that was the guy. You can't see him on screen. But if I move. Uh, Move. I know it's a bit of a messy video, but it is what it is. So if I move here, you see Twitter come up. This guy right here. So Yang Hyun Jun Yun, um, Celtic off to pay into installments. They could only accept if Yang keep Yang till January, but Celtic didn't budge. So they have. We don't know if the deals the deal um. They're quite pace and skillful. So obviously they don't show the full, but of course they don't, right? But he looks a talent, which I've seen. But they have rejected them because the way the club, like, I don't know if it's their budget or something, like their money's run or something like that, but there's a the guy right there, it is, um, but he is, according to Steve Han, who is a football writer since 2000, wow, um, and um, obviously he lives in Japan, a journalist for Japan, um, according to them, the team he plays for. Dan Wan's decision um, is to reject Celtic's offer. So there you go. Uh, a wee bit of breaking news. Well, breaking news. I say it was like 12 hours ago, but it was linked in the papers and online that Celtic put a bid in. But it has now been rejected. So what does that mean? I don't even know what. What does he play for? Or what, what, what position he plays for, to be quite honest? Uh, if you search him up. He plays as a midfielder. So obviously Celtic, uh, Brendan's looking, I said nearly said Andrews. Um, what was I saying? So obviously Brendan's looking for, um, we're calling Brendan back in the channel, we're calling Brendan again. Um, but he's also looking to, to um, develop that midfield. Listen, if that is true, maybe it's just paper talk. But if it's true, does it mean that one of the big stars is moving on? It, it, it could be true, listen, Andrews might want a tie or an or club, a Riley was linked to leave as well but um, listen does that mean when because there's a lot of there's a lot of players in there now McCarthy's in there somewhere as well um, but it must mean if it is true that um, an our player is moving on but we don't know the full story we don't know if it's true or not we don't know but that is according to the Japan journalist um, there that last night Celtic had a bit rejected from the team for you but um, I think I'll leave it at that. Promising prospect, promising uh, midfielder, uh, defence midfielder coming in, home. Uh, we've seen the skills already, that wee skill there I showed you there as well. But um, but I I think I'll leave it there today. Exciting to see, exciting. Mixed emotions tomorrow, I see what Brian wants to say. You know, I don't like to apologise, definitely not. Don't, half of me says it doesn't, but you know what I mean. But um, it will be interesting tomorrow to see what he says. But um, I, I'll be back tomorrow to see what he says, uh, to have my reaction of what Brian Rogers' first press conference as. Celtic manager once again. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow on the channel just after four o'clock or we might do a wee live stream. I don't know, but we'll see you.